Oh, hey guys, Mr. Craft here, and today um, I'll be showing you three large Lego airplanes. This one, now it has a registration number, NC60262. NC is my initials. And then this is JM601, and this registration number is JM60104. JM because that was the sticker that came with the set. And um, here, it's just a little private jet. I don't think it really has a registration number. And here's an airport. And uh, first, let's start with the airport. This airport came with the Lego set. And the Lego set came with this plane. This plane. But um, I modified this plane, like, a lot. Used to be able to carry a car in the back. That car is right over there. But um, now I just have it with more seats and then way back here is the restroom i'll show you i'll show you this plane later but first well we just have an air traffic controller up here he's dressed like a construction worker and um the airport has no people in it like some real airports that are that have no people in them because of the virus the pandemic that you guys all know is going on yeah, it's been a real bummer because, like, people are dying and, um, and it's, and a lot of businesses are being financially impacted. But, right now we're here to talk about this planes. So over here, this is, um, a little private jet. Uh, you can remove this roof. Over here there's a pilot, and then over here there's a little kid with his dad. And there are two throttles here for the two engines. They're different colors because I couldn't find the ones that were the same color. Sorry about the Coast Guard livery. That was just from an old, um, that was just the only tailpiece I could, I had. And it's the only tailpiece I found, so I had to use that. So, anyways... In the back, you're might wondering what the back is. It's not unused, wasted space. It's used to store luggage. So, this can open up. And, um, there's just some luggage in there. Here, I'll pour that out. A brown luggage, uh, three plates tall luggage, and brown luggage. Alright, I'm going to put that back. I'm going to put that back. Oh. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, whatever. I'll put that in later. That Global Master right there is supposed to be hung on the ceiling, but... Not today, though. So, um... Here's um, the JM60104. The nose can be removed. These pieces can be removed. If you guys remember my first ever video that I recorded like many months ago, probably like seven or eight, that was my first ever video. And it had JM60104 in it, except it was a 747 and it wasn't a small plane. It was double decker, it was longer. But I like but I really wanted the original version back, so I did have the original version back. So over here there's a little restroom, the toilet sink with hot water and cold water and toilet paper. And um over here there's there's uh, seven passengers. There's just six over here and then over here is one passenger with a computer, a laptop. And looks like we have some mountaineers who want to climb a mountain. And uh, here's a flight attendant with the drink cart. There are two um, wine glasses up there. And then down here there's a little soda that looks like Coca-Cola. I don't like soda, but I do like the Coca-Cola and Mentos experiment. Where you just put Mentos in the soda and it just explodes. And over here there's a little coffee maker. Yeah, you can... Uh, move that and then remove the coffee cup 
and give it to one of the passengers. Or spill it on a computer or spill it on the controls. But that's not what we're gonna do. So um, in real life, planes are usually taken apart for maintenance. So um, today we are going to take this plane apart for maintenance too. And, and, and all we have is just two simple steps to do that. We have two um, bottom pieces over here. And we just gotta remove one of them. Sorry if you hear any background noise. Um, my parents are watching Friends. And my little sister is too. So, um, yeah, you can remove that. And you don't have to remove this tile. You can just rip off the tail like that. I attach it in there with three Technic pins and not on top. So that way it can get removed easily for maintenance purposes. Because usually some planes are taken apart for inspection in real life. So yeah, now this tile, it's, it grabs onto it so that w this tile is supposed to grab onto the tail so that way it doesn't just hang out like that and the Technic pins probably might not be able to support the weight. So yeah, we, and also this bottom piece is here too, needs to be here. Okay. So now over here, we have NC60262, that's just a registration number. Sorry, I don't have very good handwriting and I just put a piece of tape on there and wrote on it. Yeah, my handwriting is terrible and I don't think it's going to improve anytime soon, but, I don't, but that's a whole other story. And um, yeah, you can remove the nose, you can remove this roof piece. And it carries tons of passengers. Um, when I first got it, when it was a Lego set, um, it only carried five passengers in the front, which was kind of unrealistic. And it just was a little weird, because real planes usually carry like tons of passengers. And uh, yeah, but this one didn't. So now I'm just... Um, so now I just modified it to carry, like, 22 people now. Or 23 if you count this guy's baby. So, um, yeah, there are a ton of people. A flight attendant with, um, a coffee maker there. Uh, a cart. A flight TV screen that the flight attendant's head is blocking. And a cockpit with flight yokes. And some throttles over there. Move the flight yoke there. So, um, in the back here, there's a little restroom with a sink and a toilet. No toilet paper, sadly, which is a little weird, but that's a whole nother story. So, um, so, uh, yeah, I hear a lot of passengers. This guy here is supposed to be me. And, uh, yeah, I'm over here in the mirror. Uh, so I'm gonna put this back on, and this, and this, so for the maintenance that they do in real life, um, they just remove parts of the plane for, um, maintenance and inspection, so over here there's a little piece, just gotta rip that off, right, no, get that out of there. So then, so now you can remove this piece too, this window, and this window too, and you can completely remove the tail. Look, and there, there's some passengers. So, um, yeah, that's the tail. Now I'm going to, um, reattach it. Okay. And, okay, there. Oh, the Technic pins, only two, I might add three Technic pins in there like I did for JM60104 because two Technic pins really can't support this much weight. Or maybe I should connect these roof pieces together with maybe a tile here or something. Then when I need to remove the roof, I probably just rip off the tile first. 
But anyway. Okay, this. These two plates are supposed to stay here. And now I'm going to put the window piece back on. So, that's the um, maintenance. Hopefully it was, um, hopefully if this plane ever becomes a reality, well, if it is becomes a reality, then hopefully they do the maintenance correctly. Otherwise the tail might shear off in midair and then the plane could come down. Okay. So, yeah, so that's this plane. The closest plane in the real life that this might be. The closest real- Ow! Jeez. Okay. I was just trying to, um, put this piece on, and apparently the plane slipped out of my hands and hit the floor with its roof and a passenger and the cockpit. Alright, I'm going to put the cockpit back over here. And, um, sorry about that heart sticker. My little sister put that there. Just to make her feel important. So, my little sister, her name is Leah. So then, just to make her happy, I always remove the roof and say, This project was approved by Leah Kristoff. So, um, I'm just gonna put this passenger back in his seat. And the pilots, too. Oh, this guy fell out. Now for the pilots. Alright. And... And now I'm going to put the nose back on. And the roof. So um, anyways, that's the plane. So the closest real life planes these, this one might look like is um, maybe a 767 or an A330, uh, maybe an A300 or an A310, I don't know. The closest real life plane this looks like could be an MD90 or a Gulfstream, but no real life plane with its engines in the back has a landing gear like this, but a future plane probably will. So this is just probably going to be a future design. This one, I, I don't know, I don't know what kind of real plane this could look like, but uh, yeah, so um, thanks for watching my video, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, if you didn't like the video, then leave a dislike, even though I wouldn't like that, but still, if I would like to hear your opinion, I'd like to hear your opinion, and um, yeah, and let me know in the comments if um, I can improve anything. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.